Okay, thank you. You know, Nadi Akbar, I don't know what's wrong with your your friend, your brother. He's not doing timing at all. Not for you, not for me. I don't know if he's asleep. If he will not do it, we can find somebody else. You know, uh, Nadi, listen, the story about Jesus, it is written in your Quran, and your prophet, he claimed this is from God. So we are going to test the story, to check it out, to see if this is, can be from God or not. You cannot say you will not answer it. I'm not mentioning anything about the Bible. Did I say Bible? I will never mention a word from the Bible, I promise you. I will not say the Bible said that and said this. I said according to your Quran, everything from your Quran and your story. We are debating your prophet, which means we are debating what he brought to us. And number one issue for us as a Christian is what he said about Jesus Christ. So it's for my right to question your prophet as a prophet telling me the truth. He is telling me the truth or he is telling me a lie. I'm not a question about a question about the Bible, the Bible, what he said. Forget about the Bible. I will I will promise you, I will never mention it. So I want you, and there is no excuse, this is Quran. We are questioning what Muhammad he brought to us. This is what the Prophet. Prophet he don't speak for himself. Is that verse about Muhammad talking about Jesus is made by Muhammad or made by Allah? It's made by Allah. Now, let us see if this can be true, because if this verse can be true, it means Muhammad can be a true prophet. If this verse is a lie, it's one, it means Muhammad, he made it up. So I don't know why you will, not, you will not answer it. So again, I insist that you have to answer me. I am not talking about the Bible. I will never mention a word from the Bible, I promise you. So can you take the mic, please, and tell the room, the Christian in here how your God Allah he saved Jesus Christ from being a crucified the story from your mouth and I want everybody to listen carefully and we will talk about it later and we will see if your God is really he is the one who made the Quran which means the real God or this is the made of someone else from the story I hope you will accept because this is no excuse we are questioning Muhammad if he's a prophet or not and Muhammad is a prophet by the word he said, not by title. Right? So what he said from his God supposedly it would make him prophet. He is not a prophet before he was chosen to be a prophet. So he is a prophet after God chose him to be one. And how? By saying what God told him to say. And this is a verse in the Quran which means God told him to say that. Tell me please how your God saved Jesus Christ from being crucified and the mic is yours. Again, this is the, you know, not, not uh, to the topic, but basically, you know, the, um, according to the Quran, the, the, um, basically the, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm trying to remember the verse off the top of my head, and I don't have the verse off the top of my head. Basically, the Quran says to the fact that he was not crucified, no, um, no, he was not killed. Now, the Quran does not go into detail as to what happened um, to to Jesus alayhi salam. So, as far as I understand, for the Isa alayhi salam was not crucified, nor was he killed, and that's as much as I need to know. Okay, so I mean, there. there there's no detail in the Quran that says that well you know this is what happened or whatever there are a lot of people that made assumption on you know what may have happened with him or whatever but that's not what um, I need to know all I need to know is that the Quran says and my belief is that the Quran is the word of God and that is not even what is in question here the question here tonight is is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indeed a prophet of God or not okay so it's important again that you know, we stick to that topic all right. So now, again, you, you, all, from from your definition of what a prophet is, all you said is that a, pro a prophet is someone that uh, basically you know tells whatever God told him to say. And if that is the case, then, then that's what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. So I don't see where you need to go any further unless you have another um, definition for a prophet. So again, is that the, all that you have for for definition of a prophet, or do you do you have more because if, if this was a court of law and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was in the witness box did he did he claim that what, he, what came from him came directly from God question is yes so end of story <laughs> All right. so again the mic is yours 
Okay, everybody is witnessing what you said. You are refusing to tell us even how your God saved Jesus. When your prophet, he explained that. And even the verse itself is explaining that. According to the verse, it says, It was made to appear to them that he was crucified. So Allah, he made that crucifixion to look as if it's happened, but it was not real. So even if you don't want to go to explanation, the verse itself is explaining itself, and I don't know why you don't want to explain it to us. How your God say it was made to appear to us. Guys, when I say it was made to appear to me, it means I saw it, but it wasn't real. Is that correct? Is that correct? I saw it, but it was not real. So I'm asking you how we saw it, but it wasn't real. This is what your verse, this is not my translation. This is your Islamic official government website. I am not translating. This is Surah 4, verse number 157. So, it was made to appear to us, but it was not the truth. So, we saw Jesus crucified, but he was not crucified. Now, we want to know from your majesty, you are a Muslim. I'm asking you as a Muslim. Otherwise, I will not ask you, you know, all what you tell me, all I care about. No, you need to say, you know, this is what happened. You are, you are in here to explain to us, Mr. Uh, Nali Akbar, not to say all what I care about. We are not Muslims like you who say all what we care about. No, we want to know details because this is our Lord. We want to know what happened exactly. How it was made to appear to us, but it wasn't real. So please take the mic and explain to us the verse, your mic. Can you hear? Hello? Uh, Alright, so basically, um, again, the topic is not about uh, the crucifixion of Jesus. If you wanted to talk about crucifixion of Jesus, we could have had uh, a different discussion. We're talking about, mm -hmm. is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi indeed a prophet of God? And I'm sure that you do know that there are other uh, scriptures that were, were written that is not Muslim scripture. I mean, there is like, a, what is that, the Apoc uh, Apocalypse of Peter that basically says that, you know, Jesus was never crucified. Again, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about whether the Jesus was crucified. We're talking about, is Muhammad so I saw indeed a prophet of God or not okay so let's stick to that topic you know this is the topic that we're talking about all right I mean don't 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 start telling me about this is what you you know I'm, I'm talking about against your belief we're not talking about is Christianity false or not we're talking about is Muhammad so I saw indeed a prophet of God and if that is the case this is what we need to be talking about okay so let's talk about is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indeed a prophet of God or not? Okay, we're not talking about is Jesus crucified or not. So you you want to know? Uh, it, it made to be a pair. So have you been to a magic show? It made you're made to, to to feel the person get sawed in half. This that the other. Are they really sawed in half? Not really. Okay, it just made to appear to you that way. So whether whether it was that case or not, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things we can get into. And I don't want to get sidetracked from the topic of is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam indeed a prophet of God or not. So again. From your definition of a prophet, okay, you said that a prophet is someone is as a mouthpiece of God, basically, and from you know from the very first verse of Ikra, basically, uh, you know, reciting the name of Lord, the Lord that created, um, <laughs> it's right there that he recited everything that came from God. All right, so again, that's the topic, right? Is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi indeed a prophet of God? So we're sticking to that topic. We're not talking about is Jesus crucified or not. All right, your mic.